Hey guys, this is Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I'm going to be doing my nails with you guys today. And I am new to this whole dip nail thing, but I'm loving it so far. So if you would like to join me as I do my nails, stick around. All right, so I'm glad you're still here with me. I started using Dipwell nails um, a couple of months ago, and I bought this kit. This is this isn't a sponsor video or anything like that. I just really love it, and you know, since it's harder to get our nails done these days, and it's safer to not go into the nail salon, I decided that the best thing to do would be to do my nails at home. So. I decided on Dipwell and I bought this starter kit and I'll just show you what's inside. I've used it a few times, so it's not gonna look new, <laughs> but I bought the, I think it's like the neon starter kit. It did not come with this brush. This is my brush, um, but it comes with two colors, a base finish, and then all the things you need, all like the steps you need to do your nails. And you would think that dip nails are going to be hard and you know that you need to be talented to do them. That is not true. Let me tell you, I'm not even good at doing my nails like regularly, but this is somehow easier for me. It turns out better than when I just paint my nails with polish. I know that's crazy, but it really, really does. So if you use my link to purchase your own starter kit or you know, anything else on the Dipwell site, you will get $10 off. So I will put that in the description box. You can go check that out. It's a really good deal. Like it costs a lot to get your nails done in the salon. And I forget how much this was. I think with a discount, this might've been like $40. And this stuff lasts forever. Like I've used this like three times so far and it's it's still full. <laughs> Um, and then these, like, they're, they're all still full. And you can get so many uses out of one kit. It also comes with this instruction manual that gives you step-by-step -step instructions for um, manicure-challenged people like me because I am not good at doing my nails. I never have been. I never will be. Also, I have bad eyesight and this and that, all sorts of things. But this is so easy. It's just step-by-step. -step, it gives you very straightforward details on how to make this work. And like I said, it's been really easy for me and just a fun thing to do also. I do wanna get more colors. I, I, I only have these two so far, but I am loving it. So before I start, just disclaimer, I am not by any means a professional um, dip artist or anything like that. Like I, I'm not good, like I just said, I'm not good at manicures, and this is only like my third or fourth time using the dip kit. So I'm just gonna tell you, I know there's probably gonna be some things I do wrong, but keep that in mind that this, I'm a beginner, just like you, if you're starting out, I'm a beginner too. So I am always open to suggestions if you think there's some way I could do this a little bit better. But let's get started. So I've already, cleaned my nails and use and like clipped my cuticles and stuff. And I use these for that and I forget the brand, but I will link these in the description box. I got these on Amazon a couple years ago or maybe last year. And these are like really good. I like these a lot, especially the cuticle nipper. It really works well. And I'm somebody who has really big cuticles. In fact, every time I go into the nail salon, they're always like, wow, you have a lot of cuticle. Well, I do. <laughs> I don't know why, like especially some nails more than others grow really fast and it's annoying. But anyway, these are a good set and it was pretty cheap. So I will link those if you're interested. Okay, so let's go. I'm just gonna refer to these instructions still because like I said, I haven't done this very much. So it says, step one, push back cuticles, shape and buff nails. I already did that. Sanitize hands and nails thoroughly. I did all that. Okay, step two, apply a coat of bond to all fingernails. So that's the first, it even has like the numbers on here. So this is the first one. 
and we're gonna go ahead, and this is like, you can just do this quickly. This doesn't have to be exact because this is just kind of like an alcohol-based um, prep. So you don't have to worry about like if you get any on your skin or anything like that. This is not what the dip is going to adhere to. So we're just gonna quickly put that on each nail. And so Allie and I have done this, like I said, several times. Um, Allie's been doing it with me and what we, like we discovered things along the way each time that, um, so I'll try to give you like those tips that we discovered, things that we were doing wrong as we went along, but we're still new. Um, one thing I will tell you about these dip nails is they last so long. Like they last longer than the gel nails I get at the salon. These last like at least three weeks and they stay really nice and it looks professional even if it's not. <laughs> okay, so that's the first step. Okay, step three, that's actually the second step. step. Step three, apply a coat of base to the entire nail service, stroking outward towards the tip of the nail. Avoid getting product onto cuticles. Okay, so this is where the powder will be picked up on this base. So whatever you, wherever you put the base, that's where the powder is gonna be. Now, what we discovered when we first started this is we went, we decided we were gonna do one hand. And so we put the base on all of them. And then we quickly realized that it's better to do a couple fingers at a time and then like move on. So for what that's, I'm gonna use this pink by the way. For what that's worth, like I just feel like it worked better that way instead of trying to quickly do them all. Isn't that a pretty color? So another thing I want to mention is that when you're doing this, and you, first of all, I think I'm doing this too thick right away. Ugh. You want to put a really thin coat on. You also want to make sure you get all the way to the edge and also maybe a little bit on the tip here. So then you dip like this and quickly come up. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. It's not going to look great the first coat. I missed a spot there. It's okay if you miss a spot the first time around because the second time you can pick it up. Anyway, what I was saying was be sure not to get it all the way to the top of your cuticle here, right to the skin, because what we discovered is that if we did that, it would then, as the nail grew out, it would peel up slightly here because it was on your skin. So there'd be this little like um, space. And what was happening was like it would lift up and then when you, run your fingers through your hair or something, it catches, and it was so really annoying. So that's why I tried not to do that here, but it looks like I, it looks like I didn't do a good job. Do you see what I'm saying? I made it really raggedy there, but it's okay because I'm trying not to avoid that same problem because every time we've done it, I've had that problem. But I'm gonna try to do it as close to there as possible and as even without getting on it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. I think I did that a little bit too thick overall, but let me dip this one. Tap, tap, tap. Whoa, what happened there? That does not look good. It may, maybe it got way too thick. All right, that's okay, we'll deal with that later. Like I said, I'm new and I'm gonna make these mistakes, but it seems that even if I'm making mistakes, it still turns out looking actually really good in the end. Like last time I did this, I actually recorded a video and um, I never published the video because I made so many mistakes in it, but it turned out in the end looking so good anyway. So that does not look good, I realize this. See how this one's different? That one looks so much better. Um, what I wanted to say also when you're doing this is you can do this. You're supposed to kind of brush it. I use like a paint, regular paintbrush just to get the excess off. So you see, I missed a spot there, but I'll take care of that in the second coat. All right, so I'm just gonna fast forward this now and I'm gonna do all my nails for the first coat and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what I do at that point.
Okay, so as you can see, they don't look great, right? So like I said, this one's really thick and bumpy. This is too thick here. I missed this, this spot up here. There's some spots missed on other nails. So right away you're like, oh no, oh my God, I messed it up. Don't worry, don't worry, because you're gonna do another coat and you're gonna like fill those spots that are missing and it'll be okay. Now, probably not everybody does a bad job to start with, but I do. There's a couple nails here that are okay, okay but we're gonna do a second coat now and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I finished two coats and you can see that it all looks covered. There are some lumps and bumps here and there, but it all looks covered. Now, I think I did what I told you not to do, which is I brought the color up all the way to the skin. Um, so I'm going to have that same problem again. The, the issue is it's very hard for me. So let me know if you have any tips. It's very hard for me to get to the top of the nail without touching the skin and have like a clean line. I Mine always ends up looking kind of bumpy, which is why I always end up bringing it up to the top so it looks better. But then I have that annoying pulling up um, thing going on. So let me know if you have any tips to avoid that. It's not a huge deal. It just bothers me when I like go put my fingers through my hair because it, it sticks, you know what I mean? But not a big deal. So now the next step is to add another coat of this base and then I'm going to dip my nails into this base and finish powder, which is like your, your top coat on regular nail polish. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Same process, just with this. Okay, I know I said that this was like a top coat. Um, I didn't mean to say that. What I meant is it's like a sealer, so it's gonna seal in that color. The top coat is going to come later. So I'm just gonna take this brush again and just wipe off the excess powder. And we are gonna wait five minutes for my nails to dry. I mean, they're dry now, but they have to like set for five minutes. And then we are going to go on the next to the next step, which is the activator. Um, pretty easy so far, right? Not too many problems. Uh, there are, like I said, there are lumps and bumps that we're going to take care of, but you'll see what I do with that. So I'm going to wait five minutes and I'll be right back. Okay. It's been five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this activator here and just put a thin coat on each nail. And what this is going to do is harden and the nails and like blend the powder and liquid and just make it more, um, like durable, I guess. I mean, I think that's what it does. And you don't have to be exact with this, just a little thin coat on each nail. Overall, this does not take very long. I haven't timed it, but I feel like it's, it's about the same amount of time, I guess, as if you go to the nail salon. Well, that kind of split there. Um, so it's, it's not, you know, it's not too time consuming. And the best part is you do not have to leave your house. So yeah, that's the part I love about it because like I like getting my nails done, but it's such a pain to um, go to the salon and like, you know, now you have to make an appointment and I don't know, I just find it to be annoying to take time out of my day to go and take care of that. So like this way, I don't have to leave the house. I can just do it right here and it's like gonna look good and it saves me so much money. I have saved so much money because I used to spend like, I wanna say about 50 to $60 every two to three weeks going to the nail salon. And now I honestly, I haven't bought anything since I bought this a few months ago for like 40 bucks. And I've used it several times. So if I just, the next time, I purchased something from Dipwell, I'm just gonna get different colors and I'm still gonna be able to use these same 
like activator and base and all that. So I don't need to buy more of that right now. I just need to buy the dip colors. So they're not that expensive either. All right. So now that I've done that, uh, let's see, I'm reading the instructions. Allow three to five minutes for activator to harden completely. So I'm going to go again and then wait three to five minutes and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what I do to try to even out some of these lumps and bumps. All right. So step 10, we are going to even out the nails. Now you can use an electronic or electric file and a lot of people do, but Dipwell tells you, you really don't need that. And Dipwell includes, and I know that I may not be doing this right. So just let you know, but Dipwell includes a file in their kits and also a buffer. So you have these two things. I use the file to get rid of some of the lumps. You have to be careful because you don't wanna go through all of it. You can use a drill or you can use a coarse grit buffer, it says, to even it out. Uh, and, and then it says use a 240 grit buffer to smooth the nail surface. So I'm pretty sure that these are what they're talking about that come in the kit. It doesn't really say that, but I think that that's what it is. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna show you some of these. So obviously this index finger is really not good. So can you see that? Can you see it, how it's like lumpy? So I'm gonna go and do this and I'm gonna do it very carefully because I don't really wanna take off a whole lot of the polish because like I said, before I've taken off too much and it's gone down to the nail and then you have a hole in the polish and then you have to go back and fill it up. So I'm just gonna like very gently kind of smooth out those areas that I want to smooth out. Um, and then on the nails that look pretty good, I'm just probably gonna go over them very gently and like the whole nail. But on the ones that are bumpy, I'm just going like, a little more rough on the bumpy parts just to make them match the rest of the nail, if that makes sense. Um, and then I kind of go on the edge as well a little bit because sometimes with these dip nails, you can get like a very thick edge on the nail and I don't like that. I don't like it to look like really thick because then it's obvious that it was like a dip and that I did it myself. So I'm just a little more careful because I like it to be a little thinner on the top so I do those as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and file these down and then I'll come back and we will show you what else we're gonna do here. Okay, so I filed down all the parts that were like big, and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this buffer, and I'm gonna buff them out just to make them just a little bit smoother. And then I'm gonna wash my hands after this, and then we'll go to the final steps. So you can see like, once I know it looks like bad when they're like this, but then once you buff it out, like it looks a lot smoother. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of those. So look how good these look already. Don't they look good? I think they look good. So now we're gonna take this activator again and apply another coat to my nails. And this, when you put this on, this doesn't have to be like super accurate. We're just putting it on to harden them even more. Like I said, these last so long because they're super hard and like they never ever chip. Like I've never had one chip yet. And the only problem I've had with these, and it's not a problem, is that it takes a, like, um, when you're, 
removing the polish, it just takes a little bit longer than like regular polish, of course, because it's just much harder. So the, the removal process is not hard. And in fact, on this pamphlet, it gives you like a whole removal section. Look, there's a whole color chart too. They have so many colors. Um, I want more. Look, I want so many of those. It's going to be hard to choose what my next color is going to be. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, removing it's more of a pain than just removing regular polish, but it's not impossible and it certainly is doable. So I think it's worth it for, to have it be a little bit more of a pain to remove than, um, and have it last a long time and not worry about like chipping it or like when I put regular nail polish on, I swear it chips within like two days. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I just do a lot with my hands, but it chips so quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and come back for the final step. Okay, so for the final step, I am gonna use this sealer and I'm just gonna put a quick thin coat and this is basically your top coat. Um, you have to be careful after you use this to wipe the rim of this because the first time that Allie and I um, did our nails, we didn't do that. And then when we went to open it, the next time it was like sealed shut and I had to get a wrench to open it. So I'd recommend wiping the top that's what they tell you to do we just didn't listen you know because <laughs> because we are sometimes lazy like that um but it's important to do that so if this is just like like i said it looks like a top coat it's shiny and pretty and this is what's gonna really make your nails look magical um so i by the way i hold my nails up here instead of putting them down here because it's hard for me to see. I mean, I can do it, but it's a little difficult because I don't want to put my head because my eyesight's not great and I don't want to because I'm old <laughs> and I don't want to put my head under the camera. So if I wasn't doing it under the camera, I would be putting them down on the table and putting my head closer, but you don't really need to see the back of my head while you're watching this video. That's not what you came to see, so it's not what you're gonna see. So look how pretty these are looking. And we're gonna put two coats of this on. The first coat soaks in a little bit. You can see it looks, it doesn't look super shiny like it does, and then it starts drying and looks a little bit matte. I mean, it's still shiny, but, but the second coat, after this dries, we're gonna put a second coat on and that takes care of that problem. Um, so what else was I going to say? I don't know. I do know that this is foolproof. Like I hesitated to do this for so long because I said to myself, I can't do that. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Like it's not going to look good. I'm going to mess it up. I'm just going to have the people at the salon do it and stuff. And, and then, I don't know, I was just sitting around one day thinking like, well, maybe I'll try it. Like, I think I saw, I saw somebody online do it and I'm like, well, let me try it out. I was like, it's only 40 bucks, you know, it's not going to break the bank if I don't like it. And the first time we did it, I fell in love with it. I fell in love. Okay, um, I'm gonna let this dry for three minutes and come back and do a second coat and then talk to you a little bit and we'll be done. Okay, I am back to put on my second coat and finish up. So my manicure is not perfect by any means. Um, and I know they could do a better job at the salon, but what I will say is that if you're just looking at my hands, like, you're not gonna really notice that I did it. Like, you're not gonna be like, oh, there's some on the side of that finger and this one doesn't have enough in one spot or like there's a little lump there. You're not really gonna notice that. <laughs> so in my opinion, the money that it saves and the time that it saves like is, I don't know, is worth it. The money alone, like it's totally worth it. So that is a finished hand. Look at that, that looks pretty good. 
like that's a little bit lighter colored there because remember I missed that spot in the beginning and that's a little bit on my cuticle but other than that I think they look pretty good first glance um so I'm gonna do this side and I'm gonna show you one more thing oh I think I did that a little too thick there well oh well and my nails will be all set for filming my videos this week because as a YouTuber, I need to have my nails look decent most of the time. Um, I don't like people to tune into my videos and be like, ugh. Once in a while, like the last couple videos I made, I think I didn't have nail polish on, um, you know, and it doesn't look great. But so once in a while I will do that, but I try to make, have my nails look pretty good most of the time. I used to get the French all the time and I've kind of got out of that since quarantine happened and it's hard to do French at home. Like I pretty much um, started just doing color and I kind of like color on my nails now. Um, you can see that this, like I said, this, um, <laughs> this is wonky. You see the top because we couldn't get all of that off. And after this, I will come on and wipe this down again so we don't have that same problem. Okay, so here's the finished product. I think they look really good. Um, and one thing, so the last thing I wanted to mention is some of you might be hesitant to do dip nails because you've seen some people do the dip nails and their nails look really thick and unnatural. But like I said, I like to file the, the tips of the nail to avoid that from happening. And look at like, so if, if you look at a side view, like that one's a little bit thick, but like, it just looks like normal. Like they don't look like these look a little thick here at the cuticle, but for the most part, like they look pretty normal and not overly big. You know what I mean? Cause I, that's one of the reasons I didn't want to do it. But, uh, if you file them right and pay attention to the thickness when you're putting it on, that doesn't happen. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, also let me know what color you want me to do next. Like, look at this chart. I think maybe I want to do like a pastel color, but I mean, fall's coming, so I probably shouldn't. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to place an order soon. So let me know what colors you, you can look at this like this. Do you see a specific color you want me to wear? If so, let me know and I will buy that one. Um, but check out the discount code, $10 off. You can't beat it just to try it out. And uh, please use, use my affiliate link if you do decide to purchase. All right, I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed just a little change from my normal videos. And uh, if so, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, not for nail videos, but for planner videos. If you're somebody who likes nail videos, probably aren't gonna see that very often for me, maybe every once in a while, but um, planner videos are my thing. <laughs> so take care, uh, stay tuned for doodle of the day and I'll see you in my next video, bye.